Okay, so this little device is called a watt meter. What you do with this is you measure electricity. So you can see that I plugged my Tesla charger into it. This is just a trickle charger. I'm now gonna go and plug my car in. And then once you get the little green light here, you know it's charging. Boom. I'll head back into the garage. And you can see it's starting to ramp up. So 160, 270, 1384. So this is roughly the amount of electricity that the uh, Tesla Model 3 is going to use to charge on a trickle charge, 1385 watts. So you can see when I plug the car in at 12.56 p.m., it's got 127 miles range. And then when I unplug the car later at 3.30 p.m., it has 141 miles range. So let's do some math. So 1384 watts times two and a half hours, which is what we were running it, comes out to about 3,460 watt hours, which you divide by 1,000 to get kilowatt hours, so 3.46 kilowatt hours, which is what shows up on your electric bill. If you divide the 14 miles that we got by 3.46, you get roughly four miles per kilowatt hour out of your charge. From the EPA, we know that 33.7 kilowatt hours is roughly equivalent to one gallon of gas. And so roughly what I'm seeing from my Tesla Model 3 charged from solar panels on my roof is four miles per kilowatt hour times 33.7 kilowatt hours per gallon yields 136 miles per gallon equivalent, which is pretty awesome. Um, that's just one uh, data point, so nothing to, to kind of use a broad claim on, but this is actual data. Let's talk about what that actually costs me in terms of electricity rates. So four miles per kilowatt hour is 0.25 kilowatt hours per mile. If you take that and run it up to 220 miles, which is what uh, my car holds, uh, you get 55 kilowatt hours. 55 kilowatt hours times our national electricity average rate of 11 cents per kilowatt hour is $6.05. So that's it. To fill your tank is $6.05.